In the previous section, we discussed setting up help desk using Jira service desk. Let us now take a look at searching and reporting in Jira. In this section, we are going to take a look at using issue navigator and basic search. We'll spend time understanding JQL. We'll take a look at filter permissions and subscriptions. And finally, we'll take a look at the dashboards using issue navigator and basic search. In this video, we are going to take a look at issue navigator, basic search, detail view and list view. We'll take a look at the export capabilities of Jira and we'll take a look at the bulk edit feature. So right now, when you are logged into your Jira instance, on top, you have the option to click on the issues. If you click on this particular section here, you will then have the option to click on current search or search for issues. So if you click on either of these options, let us say if you click on search for issues, you will then be taken to the issue navigator. And issue navigator is basically the place where you will come to find and search for different reports and the issues that you have in your Jira instance. For example, the first time that you open this particular issue navigator, you will have the option to take a look at all the issues that you have right now in your Jira instance. So right now you can take a look here on the right side of the screen that we have 90 issues or tickets in the Jira service desk, Jira software and Jira core. And if you want to further take a look at different issues of a specific project, you can now click on these options or these uh, drop down items on the top. So you have these quick filters or the options to further narrow down your search. For example, if I just want to take a look at all the issues of uh, the project help desk team, so I can simply click on the checkbox for this particular project and then the list below will be refreshed for me and it will only display the issues of the help desk team. And you can see here that uh, by simply clicking on the links or the specific issue, the right hand side of the screen will actually display the whole issue. And you can actually work on the issue from your issue navigator. For example, if there is a new ticket that I have received, uh, like photo editing software request, simply click on it. And on the right hand side, you have the option to either edit the issue, comment on the issue, maybe you want to assign it to someone or maybe you want to create a subtask out of it. So you can actually work on your Jira tickets if you want from the issue navigator. So this is one way to work on the issue navigator and find the information by simply using the drop down menus on top. But if you think you just need to have a list or a table of the tickets or issues, you can change the view from this top right corner. There is a new icon that is displayed. It says change view. So simply click on it and click on the list view. So this particular issue navigator will then display the same list of tickets, but in a tabular format. So you can see here, if you probably go back to the same list, if you uncheck everything, it will display the list of all the issues that you have, all the 90 issues that you have in your Jira instance. So right now you have the option to take a look at 50 issues in one screen. So you can actually go through each one of them if you want. And if you also want to change the columns that appear here in the issue navigator, you can go to the column section and you can actually click on different columns that you want to have. So right now there is a link that says restore defaults. If you click on it, you will be able to take a look at all the default columns and you also have the option to add a new column of your choice. For example, right now the summary is missing. So I'll probably add my summary here. So that will be displayed in my issue navigator search view. So you can see here that I can see the summary field and I can probably drag it right next to my issue key. So it looks better. and right now I can actually save this particular list cut. So right now, if you also want to further search and narrow down your search, for example, instead of using the project name, I just want to take a look at all the incidents and problems in my Jira instance. So simply select these two options from the drop down, and the list below will be displayed. The other thing that you can also do with this particular issue navigator is you can also sort the list based on 
any of these fields that are displayed on the screen. So if you want to sort and if you want to change the order of the tickets based on the issue creation date, simply click on the created field here on the heading and this list will then display the issues that are most recent on the very top. So it's a very nice way to work on your issue navigator to find the information that you're looking for using these ready-made options or also known as the basic search in Jira. There are a few more things that you can also do. Let us say you're searching for the information. Right now I'm taking a look at all the incidents and problems. If I want to share this particular search with my colleague, so I can simply click on the share button on top and I have the option to also enter their username. So right now the email configurations are not enabled, but you will get the option to simply type in their username and you will be able to share the search that you're doing with your colleague. And you can also export the list here in variety of format. For example, if you want to export everything in a printable format, if you click on the printable option here on top, you will be able to take a look at this particular uh, list, but without any Jira logo or without any design. And it's a very neat and simple way to take a printout without any background color. If you go back to the previous uh, view and uh, take a look at something called as uh, the full content under the export, you will be able to take a look at uh, the details of each and every issue that you have in your uh, search. And you will be able to take a look at all the fields. So you have one issue and the next one, and you can actually view all the issues that appeared in the search. So in our search, I think there were 12 issues. So we were able to export them in this uh, detailed view where you can actually take a look at all the content of your tickets. Then you have some other options like uh, if you want, you can also export the list in a CSV format. Let me show you how it looks like. If I click on this particular CSV all fields. Now, if you want to open the file in a CSV format in maybe your favorite editor, let us say notepad, you will be able to take a look at the content of your export in this nice comma separated file. And you can use it to import this particular information to maybe a different tool, or maybe you just want to generate your report in your Excel sheet maybe. So you have the option here to generate the CSV file as well. If I go back to my Jira instance and let us take a look at what all we can do here, we can also generate uh, the same information in a Word document. So this is quite useful. And finally, we have this option to also do a bulk change in Jira. So if you select your bulk change option from the tools option on the top, you have the option now to modify one or more issues by selecting all of them or maybe few of them. And then if you click on the next button, you will be able to choose the operation. For example, if you just want to modify these issues, simply select the operation, which is edit issues and click on the next button. Then you want to also specify what exactly you want to change. For example, if you want to change the priority of all of them to maybe high, you can just select, uh, you know, what exactly you want to change. And if you scroll down, you have the option to click on the next button, then you will be able to make this change. So I'll simply select uh, confirm. And now the bulk operation is taking place and it will change the priority of all the issues to high. So if I go back to my issue navigator and if I just bring in my priority field, I will be able to take a look at uh, what exactly has changed. So you can see here that uh, the priority of all the issues that we wanted to change has been changed to the high.